you doing? No, Bella, I'm supposed to say because you stink. Uh, no, you stink. You stupid liar, gummy, poopy head. Yo, everybody, how you doing? Welcome to the 2017 NFC South Division Prediction Show. With Philly 500 at the helm, how you doing? Now, this division is a very, very hard division to pick. It's very hard to predict this one because there are team, four teams that I all could see winning the division. I think there are teams that have improved. They all have good quarterbacks. I mean, there's four good quarterbacks in this division. You got a Hall of Famer. You got last year's MVP. You got the year before that's MVP in Cam Newton. I mean, these guys, these guys have quarterbacks. This, this is a tough division, and it's tough to predict. And whoever I have in last place... I could see winning the division, and I could see the person I picked, the team I picked to win a division, finishing in last place. This is a tough division, and no matter what I say or think, somebody's going to watch this. A fan of that team is going to watch it and feel slighted, and I, I get it, and I'm sorry about that, but there's nothing you can do. This is a good division, so I look forward to going back after preseason and relooking at this division for each team game by game, week by week. So, with that said, let's get right into it. I'm going to give you the prediction of the last place team first going up, and I'm going to give you the record and their division record. So, in last place in the NFC South in 2017, I believe that the New Orleans Saints will finish 8-8 eight and 3-3 eight and three and three in their division. Now... The thing with the Saints that I saw was I think that their first four games are going to be tough. They start out, I believe, in Minnesota. They have New England. They have to go to Carolina and Miami. Those are going to be hard. I can see them starting off real slow. Yes, they have Adrian Peterson. Yes, they drafted Marshawn Lattimore, who I love. But I don't think it's going to be enough. And with an older Drew Brees, I think it's going to put them slightly behind. So I have the Saints... Finishing at 8-8. Eight eight. Now, in third place in the division, I have it going to the Carolina Panthers. I believe the Carolina Panthers will finish 9-7. and seven. I think that not sure what's really going on with the front office, with the GM leaving and that kind of stuff. And I get the sense with Carolina that they're just going to be a little bit behind Atlanta and and Tampa so I think that they're going to be tough I think they got some tough games and I think that they're going to be just below those two other teams so I have them nine and seven and I have them two and four in their division so they're going to lose an extra division game than they need to and I think that's going to be the big problem so I have them nine and seven in second place in second place now I have chosen the Atlanta Falcons I have the Atlanta Falcons going 10 and 6 and I honestly think that that's an accomplishment for what they went through last year in the Super Bowl most teams that lose the Super Bowl usually don't even make the playoffs or struggle the following year it's like a Super Bowl hangover it's a hard thing to do the way that team lost the Super Bowl was so brutal and so tough to watch that I think that they're going to be in a slump all year because of it. But despite that slump, they're still going to go 10-6, and six, and I think they're going to finish 3-3 three and three in their division. I just think it's hard to do what they did last year and then come back and get back after that. It's really hard to do what they did, and they lost in a really dramatic way. But I see them... Despite all that, they're probably the most complete, talented team in the NFC South. And really, you know, if they can get over it, then they can easily win this division. But I just think that's too too hard of a task. So I have them 10-6 and 3-3 and and in the division. Which leaves the division champions to be named the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers I have going 11 and 5 and I believe that they're going to go 4 and 2. I have them sweeping the Panthers. Um 
This team is right on track with the third-year quarterback to make that jump. This is when it happens. I believe Winston is a stud. I believe he's going to be good, and I believe Mariota's a stud too. But I believe that Winston is a stud, and I believe that when you look at Mike Evans with Deshaun Jackson, right? I mean, what a perfect compliment for Mike Evans to have Deshaun Jackson. And then the draft, O.J. Howard, who you know what I thought O.J. Howard of. I loved O.J. Howard. I think this is a dynamic offense, and I think it's a very underrated defense. So I think Tampa Bay is making the jump. They're going to make the jump this year, and they're going to win the division. They're going to win the NFC South, and they're going to make some noise in the NFC. So I have them winning the division at 11-5 with a 4-2 division record. So that's the NFC South. Tomorrow we'll come back with the NFC North. But... As far as the South, in review, the Buccaneers 11-5, the Falcons 10-6, the Panthers 9-7, and, and the Saints 8-8. Eight and eight. That's right. There is no team under 500 in this division, and that's about what I think it's going to be. Tough division, tough teams, and we'll see what happens. Tomorrow's the NFC South, and I'll, have, I'll be back later today with another video. Take care. Talk to you later, and don't be a dingbat.